Good morning vlog. So we just ordered our Dutch Bros. We're gonna do a little taste test for you mm -hmm. once it arrives. We will. But we are driving back from San Diego State to home. I feel like I have so many updates. So I flew in yesterday. I was a basket case on Wednesday night. I have footage from that that I'll insert soon. But I got everything done. Came down, saw Matt yesterday, drove down to San Diego, and I'm reunited with my Gracie. And we got food. I'm drinking my uh, lead Stanley currently. Me too, cheers. We went to Little Italy for dinner last night. We had a very chill night. We were Barbusa, exhausted. Barbusa, go, so good. It was so, so good. So, so good. The garlic and bread is so good. It's really cute. Yeah. Cute date night spot, girls mm -hmm. night out. It was fabulous. We thought we were going to have more of like a night out. Like we yeah, were going to go and stay tired. out late, but we literally went to bed at 11. So. I actually probably felt, by the time, I probably fell asleep at like 11.45. I slept on an air mattress in Grace's dorm when I slept like a rock. Her roommate left early this morning and I literally didn't wake I didn't up at all. I didn't hear either. I was so tired. I think I just slept the whole night through and then we woke up and then got ready and left like it was a whole yeah it took us a while to like mm -hmm. get out of there but like we moved pretty fast we were doing stuff like it took us like an hour to get out but we were yeah we had to deflate the air mattress we had to pack up all our stuff i have my whole suitcase back here what it's gonna be friend. a great fun weekend i have my hair appointment tomorrow i'm so excited i was literally on the phone with my mom yesterday i facetimed her and she was like somebody needs their hair done thanks mom honestly i feel like it grows out pretty well though, like how she does no it, it does she does a really good job but when it gets to this point you can really start to tell Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you too. Excuse me. This, this is so cute. So this is white coffee with like sugar cookie and something else. This is good. It's a little watery. I don't know why. Well, I feel mm. like chais are a little more watery. True. I don't know. I just feel like the one I had in Palm Springs was better. It's so Remember random. my big A drink I got? Yes. That was crazy. The battery's flashing, so we're going to go finish our drive and I will update you guys when I'm back at home. Oh. Fine. The other battery's in here and the camera's about to die. So we need to get it out. I fit everything into this small carry-on. I really didn't need to bring that much because obviously I have clothes here too, but I'll insert the footage of me from the night I was packing. I'm stressed. I just, you know, when you are so much to do, you just don't even know where to start. That's how I feel. I need to just go one thing at a time. And I know myself and I know I don't get good work done when my space is messy. So I'm gonna clean it and just go one step at a time. It's 5.31 currently. Here's what we're looking at. I need to change my sheets. You guys know, cause I'm inserting this after the intro. I'm going home tomorrow. I get to see Matt and Grace. And I'm really excited. I just need to get over, I'm also shaking. We went to a Pilates class that was a sisterhood event for DG and just holding the camera up right now, my arm is shaking. I'm gonna get this in the washing machine and get this organized. I've gotten a lot done today. It's just like, hasn't been enough. And it's been things that I didn't, like I did an assignment this morning that wasn't due till tomorrow night. I very well could have done it at the airport tomorrow. It took me like two hours this morning. I was doing it in the coffee shop and I should have been editing my video. Oh well. This is my first time having this Alani. Kimade thing. Usually I drink Celsius, but Natalie convinced me to try this. Another thing I did that was so unnecessary was press these flowers. Probably should have been packing during that time, but I won't be back till Monday. So I wanted to do that before I left. One step at a time. I'm going to clean this first and pull my suitcase out. If you're looking for a good Trader Joe's snack, these are phenomenal. Let's go. If you see me walking through the halls with this. No, you do not. Oh, are you kidding? And this has 20 minutes left. These ones in a different wing are wide open. That was all I filmed on Wednesday. Part of the reason I was really stressed out was because Thursday morning I didn't have time to do anything. I went straight to class at 8 a.m. and then straight to the bus stop. So it all had to be just done and checked off. My friend Maddie was also traveling at the same time. She's going to Tennessee to see some of her friends, but I was able to ride the bus with her and go through security with her. I came back to lots of packages and goodies, so I'm gonna unbox this. My mom left me this Valentine. She's not home right now because she's visiting Allie in Texas. She has her initiation this weekend, which means that she officially becomes part of her sorority, and it's a big tradition for the previous. Like, if you have a family member who's in that sorority, they will come and initiate you, and my mom was a Kappa, and now Allie's a Kappa, so my mom's there with her doing doing that, but she'll be back on Sunday, so I'll get to see her, because I don't leave till Monday. I got so incredibly lucky, because I only have one class on Friday mornings, but both my afternoon classes yesterday got canceled, and my 
Monday morning class got canceled. So even though I'm gone Thursday through Monday, I'm only missing my one 50 minute class on Friday morning. Matt's on his way right now, so I'm gonna see him in a sec, but I wanna unbox, I'll unbox the rest when he's here, but I wanna unbox his Valentine's Day gifts so he doesn't see them. The first thing I got him is this Carhartt hoodie. It's really basic, it's just black, it has the Carhartt logo. And then I said in the video, I was talking about the gifts that I wanted to do something else that's a little more sentimental because it's Valentine's Day. So I got him this. This is the brand, I just Googled like men's engraved, oh I just, Open this and I was only looking at the viewfinder and I thought this was the real piece of jewelry like in the corner of my eye but this is it it's an engraved cross chain this is the front and then the back has our anniversary date engraved okay yay I'm glad that everything was right I looked at when I was typing it in the website I was like 4 9 22 like I kept looking at it because I was afraid I was gonna do the wrong date because it's that's just so something I would do the battery died, so I had to recharge it. And now I have a special guest. What's up, vlog? How have you been? Update the vlog. Vlog, I've been good. What's happened since? Nothing big. Nothing big since break. Mm -mm. Fishing. Oh my gosh, yeah, he's fishes now. Yeah, but my rod's broken. I got a trash rod. We haven't been. Wait, you gotta weeks. be careful with this, because every time you do that, the camera can hear it. And this? it sounds bad, yeah. So, I have to... <laughs> I also tried to fix my hair because it looks Is my leg in the frame? No. Okay, good. Why? <laughs> it just looks weird. <laughs> Wait, can I show you a really funny photo from yesterday? You guys know the standing emoji? Who is that? It's not me. <laughs> Definitely not me. Literally. <laughs> Let's get to unboxing. First off, this is an exciting one. Look. Tide? Tide! They sent a Tide stick. They sent washing machine cleaner. That's so oh. sweet of them. So nice. You guys know I will use these. These are to-go wipes because I spill on everything. What? What? You're just giving them a free plug. Well, yeah, they sent me stuff. <laughs> I want to be nice. <laughs> and stain remover spray. So sweet, Tide. Next up is from Beam. They sent me two of their faves as a thank you for working with them in January. I didn't see that one. Gut health supplement and their Sunny D greens. I'm actually really excited to try these. Matt should take these because he doesn't eat vegetables. And I'm healthy. No, he's not. I will leave all the links down below. Can you stop? This is work here. <laughs> yeah, not for you. <laughs> I will leave all the links down below and they said I can use the code Katie. Or you guys can use the code Katie if you want 10% off your order. My retainer. Gave she, me your retainer. No, because she picked it up for me. A hair clip. Are you going to say what it is? No, they can read. M&M's. Mini M&M's. Hair ties. I eat these straight. I love these so yeah. much. I don't want your tummy to implode. Why would it? Come on, why? Dairy. You want some? Thank you, Mom. She also did a Starbucks gift card. A cute little notebook. And this mug. She's the best. And the balloon. I'm re-gifting it. You never asked me to be your Valentine. <laughs> that one's not genuine. Oh well. Cancel him. If you were to actually come up to me and ask him, I think I would cringe a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we need to focus. Okay. Next up is from Elemis. I already know what this is because my mom unboxed it on FaceTime. Pro Collagen Rose Micro Serum. Thank you, Elemis, for sending this. Oh, this is really cool. They also donate $10 from each sale of this Pro Collagen Micro Rose Serum in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month to look good, feel better. So thank you, Elemis, for sending this. They always send stuff in the cutest packaging. Pretty good. I know, right? And it fits right here. They always sent you one thing. This is nice stuff, though. They scammed you. <laughs> they sent me this for free. This one, I almost screamed when they emailed me. Who is it? Do you know what this brand is? No. They sell really nice, like, luxury self-care products, like hand cream, lotion. <laughs> you see, oh, you can't. Pretty good packaging, though. Oops. And they didn't jip you. They gave you four things. And a note, whoa. Harry Potter note. She got into Hogwarts. I'm gonna put a side by side. Wow. You're gonna be a wizard, babe. <laughs> you didn't even get it. No, of course you I don't, don't get, get it! it. You haven't That's seen embarrassing. it! So fancy. This is the shower oil I've seen. I was talking about um, Avery Woods earlier, but I've seen Avery Woods. douche on it. Are you kidding me? You can't plug this. It's a French company. Cool the douche. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Are you kidding? I'm so proud of you. You got so many good ones. That's so cool. I love you. I love you. See, he can be sweet. Thank you to Loxiton for sending all this stuff. We got one more. What's this? I use it. It's oh, the... I hate. Is this the. No, no, no. This is not the oregano. Is it like it? No, it's completely different. What is it? It has 300 plus beneficial compounds. Propolis is the bodyguard of the beehive. Bees use it to line the walls of their hives to keep the germs out. We use it to support our immune systems, soothe the scratchy throats, and combat free radical damage in the body. Thank you to all these wonderful brands for sending me this. I'm sorry he was so disrespectful. I was not. I just call it how it is brands. You should send me stuff. I'll give them an honest review. That'd be kind of good, wouldn't it? It would be good, yeah. <laughs> I'll give all the stuff I actually will use Because then if it's actually good, like. I'll tell people it's good. I'm commenting more on like the packaging and like if they're scamming you or not. Like that one brand, they're scamming you. <laughs> <laughs> or 
that? The itty bitty little bottle in no, it. No, that's like made it look so good. I use it every day. Why did it get so dark? Oh, there. Because it's not focused on your face. I wasn't even talking about the product. Oh, you just, just like the yeah, packaging, yeah, yeah, like yeah. the idea of it. And you're so proud of your amazing girlfriend. Tell them how much you love me. I love her so much. I'm so proud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna do that. Blink once. <laughs> He's kidding. I feel like some people would do that and take it literally. We're gonna go to lunch now. Happy Saturday. It's so warm and sunny outside and just the best vibes. I've been waiting for this day for so long, but I just got to the hair salon. Yesterday, me and Matt didn't really do anything else. Like, notable, we were hanging out all day. We went in the hot tub, that's the key thing. And then I just went to bed like a couple hours later. I woke up this morning, my hair was still like barely wet, which I know is like the worst thing to do, but I was so tired. I was like, there's no way I'm washing my hair right now. There's no way I'm blow drying my hair. So I went to bed and it was like damp and I put it in a bun. I just wasn't thinking because I was so tired and I woke up this morning and I was like, oh crap, it's probably bad to have the residue or like chlorine from the hot tub in my hair. So I Googled it and of course, this is what I found. It says never get your hair colored while there is still leftover chlorine in your hair. Bleach and color may react very badly with chlorine. Make sure it's completely washed out before visiting your stylist. So I freaked out and I was like, I need to wash my hair, which I didn't account for timing wise. So I didn't have time to vlog. Anyway, I did make this breakfast sandwich. I'm gonna finish eating it and then run in, but I'm really excited to get my hair done. I brought my computer. I still have a little more work to do but we'll see if i can get that done i'm probably gonna be chatting so my hairstylist just had a baby and she's back from maternity leave that's all i'll keep you guys updated i'll probably do a little time lapse and i'll see you when my hair's all done I am feeling like a new woman. I'm blonde again. Not that I wasn't before, but like, thank goodness. The plan for the rest of the day is I need to go back, finish all my work, and then me and Matt are going on a Valentine's Day date tonight. I don't know what we're gonna do like the rest of the afternoon because we're not going to dinner till later. I'm so tired right now because I really didn't eat much of that sandwich. I was like really proud of myself thinking it was gonna be really good and then it just really wasn't. So I'm gonna go grab food somewhere. I was so tired last night, I literally, went upstairs to the couch. Matt left and I went upstairs to the couch and I fell asleep on the couch in the loft for like two hours. I fell asleep on the couch in the loft till three in the morning and then I woke up and went into my bed. Still really tired. I think I just need food. I wanna get like a pro, oh thank you. Some kind of protein, I say that so they can actually hear me. I'm so happy that my hair is done. It's just like one of the little things, even if you go and you just get a haircut and they wash your hair in the bowl and they shampoo it, there's nothing like it because they just do such a good job washing your hair and it feels so clean and just all good things. I need to get gas too. I'm all, all over the place right now. I'll put it on the screen what my hair stylist has. I've asked her before in text, but I can't remember what it is. It's some kind of like baby light highlight. And then I always ask for like a face framing cut. That way I can pull out pieces when I put my hair in a ponytail and it has a little more volume. I went to Nectar, I got this bowl, the mango bowl, and also this energy shot. I'm gonna eat this and film a Q&A right now. I don't know if it's gonna go up before or after this video, probably before, but I'm gonna film right now, go to Target, get the rest of the stuff for Matt's Valentine's Day gift, go back home, finish everything else I need to do, and then probably like clean up, get re-ready, and then I'll be with Matt the rest of the day. Also, when my hairstylist was putting the color on my hair, she asked me if I had been taking any like hair growth supplement, and I was like, I don't think so. And then it dawned on me that I'm taking the Beam Natural Beauty stuff, and that helps your hair grow too, because she said I have a bunch of little baby hairs growing in all over my scalp, especially right here on the top. You can kind of see she gelled them down, but all these little babies. My code I mentioned yesterday is still active. It's just KD for 10% off. So I'll leave the link to that down below. It's like almost seven. Sorry, I haven't vlogged. I cleaned my room really fast just now, like got the card all written because I was downstairs with my dad and my grandpa for a while and I'm all ready to go. I'm wearing the Amazon sweater. It has the hearts on it. My jeans from Abercrombie and the Polly Pocket shoes from Target. And I'm putting the balloon from yesterday in this bag. Hi vlog. My Chick-fil-A was just superb. I'm so glad to hear that. What do you think of my outfit? Oh, your outfit looks very nice. Thank you so much. Little heartsies all over the place. Yep. Yeah, and the jeans. Honestly, the first time I've seen you, you haven't hold your jeans. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have rice on my sweater. 
dinner was great we had chocolate covered strawberries for dessert it was very valentine's day esque and we went back to matt's house and watched suits and i fell asleep i have a second wind right now and i'm gonna do my skincare and then get in bed i'm so excited my mom's coming back tomorrow so i'm gonna go with my dad to pick her up in the morning tomorrow's gonna be such a fun day too super Bowl sunday obviously i'm excited for the game like i love sports and i love football but i'm so excited for the ads in previous years i have never been this excited to watch the super bowl ads and it's because of all the advertising classes I'm taking. That's the original, one of the original things that made me want to go into advertising. I was watching the Super Bowl ads. I don't know what year it was, but the Ravens were playing and I was watching an ad and I was like, I think they should change this about it, this about it. And I was like listing out all the things I thought could better the advertisement. And that was one of the pivotal moments where I was like, this is what I want to do. I'm rooting for the 49ers, but I think the Chiefs are going to win. I don't like either team necessarily, but if I had to pick one, it would be the 49ers. Babelash sent me this. It actually arrived today, so it was not in time for the PR haul yesterday. You guys know I've been using their lash serum, and they sent me a refill. I really love this stuff. And they also sent their conditioner and their mascara. So cute. They're silver and gold, and they match together. So thank you to Babe Original for sending these. I'm going to use this in the morning and see how I like it. I'm feeling so festive because I have my little heart earrings on, the heart sweater, and this thing has little hearts all over it. I was going to wear it, but I just was too lazy. I decided to clip my hair up instead. It's the season of love. I don't know if it's because that one TikTok sound that circulates around every year, but when I think of Valentine's Day, I always think of the Bible verse from First John that says we love because he first loved us. And I always think of First Corinthians and the attributes of love, how it's patient and kind. And I always think of First Corinthians 13, the whole passage about the attributes of love i'm sure i've mentioned this before but i saw something a while ago probably on pinterest like it was a long long time ago about how when you're thinking about yourself and even when you're looking for these qualities like you're looking for the right qualities in the person you're gonna date or marry replace love with their names like i want somebody to think about me and think like katie is patient and kind like does not envy does not boast keeps no records of wrong i have like all these little snippets of bible verses from sunday school and growing up going to private elementary school because we had to do memory verses every week so i have these verses memorized from all those years like some not all of them but just the really popular ones i have in the back of my mind i found it so i'm just gonna read it it's first corinthians 13 4 it says love is patient love is kind it does not envy it does not boast it is not proud it does not dishonor others it is not self-seeking it is not easily angered it keeps no record of wrongs love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth it always protects always trusts always hopes and always perseveres happy monday obviously i didn't vlog much yesterday i actually did vlog a little bit at matt's house so i'll insert that here happy super bowl sunday happy super bowl sunday sunday happy super bowl sunday go niners go niners jackson won 180 dollars oh, you gotta talk about your bet my friend fliff gave me five dollars so i put it all on a non-quarterback throwing a touchdown and my baby boo juan jennings threw a touchdown no jackson won like 200 and something dollars but 240. We're in overtime right now. The game's in overtime. I didn't think it was the halftime, so I was not impressed. Oh, yeah, no, I, I didn't like it. I like liked last year's, but I didn't love last year's. So yes. We were saying we liked Rihanna last year, but we didn't love it, and we liked this less than Rihanna. So it was just very. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> Wait, can we set this up somehow? I can win a scratch off. I'm so stressed, and I don't even have anything on the line. I know, freaking heck, bro. I know. Stay in one time for the <laughs> I expect to drop out this time. No, no. I'm actually depressed. Oh, poor song. Why has there been four commercials for Temu? Timu, whatever. This is the fourth one. I'm getting gas right now. I got up really early this morning because my mom had to go to work really early and I wanted to spend a little bit more time with her. So we got coffee and then I worked in the coffee shop for a little bit. It's 917 now. I'm getting gas and I'm gonna go pick up Grace take a walk on the beach with her and then go to the airport with matt and that's pretty much gonna be the rest of the day i would have vlogged a little bit more yesterday but i'm feeling more and more sick which is so annoying i've just had this stagnant cough that hasn't gone away and i haven't gone to a doctor for it because i'm like oh it's just everybody in the dorm has it but it's kind of getting worse so we'll see about that this week i'm starting up a new vlog tomorrow i'm really excited about it it's gonna be such a fun week being back and just getting back to the swing of things my class is done hold on 
It's been a very happy, love-filled weekend, and I'm excited to go soak up the warmth and the sunshine at the beach. This is the best bowl ever. I'm back home, and I'm gonna pack everything up. All of this stuff is clean, so that way I can just put it right away when I get back to school, because I washed it last night. Also, I got another package from Beekeepers Naturals. They sent me this bag, which I was saying would be perfect for the beach in the summer. More merch, and these, which I'm gonna take back with me, because they have a bunch of vitamin C. It's immune support, so hopefully this will kick my cold. And thank you to Beekeepers Naturals for sending all this good stuff. <laughs> you in like 14 days. Yeah, buddy. I'm in Denver. My camera's about to die, so I've been filming very sparingly. But I'm trying to make it to the bus, so I don't have to pay for an Uber. I'll keep you updated if I can.